Hello, my name is Yes. <laughs> with the bar with the bar with the police. The king say no. I wait. Let's go, people go. Say Egypt. Moses. We want to leave Egypt to worship God. Please let my people go now. Now say the parrot. God say you must let us go. Say Moses again. I don't care what you God say. Say the stubborn, the parrot. Parrot made the Israel work harder. The people of Israel couldn't have enough time to eat. God told Moses. What you to do, Para will be meal to your people, but don't worry. Oh, oh, I am the Lord of Israel. Moses said, "Let's go, God. People go many times, but the king didn't listen to God." No, say the king. Your people have to work for me. But, oh. But the king didn't listen to God. No, say the king. Your people have to work for me. Terrible thing began to happen in Egypt. The longest river in Egypt was chained to a flood. Folk were everywhere to in Egypt. Dusk became gangs and leaks. Fellows came all over. After nine terrible dis disaster, one last horrible thing be happened. The firstborn son. In each Egyptian family, including the Pharaoh's son, died. Mourning was here. Everyone in Egypt, as last Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron, go, said the king, take your. People out of Egypt. The king was not so stubborn anymore. The God showed that he was greater than the king. Next chapter, the Israelites come out from Egypt. God people came. Out to Egypt, the Israelites were out to out of Egypt with God's help. God let Moses lead the Israelites. They know God was with them. God was God stayed with them in the cloud. God was always with them. God showed them where, where, where to go. God showed a pillar of fire every night. After the people to Israel left, Pharaoh changed his mind. He followed the Israelites. With his soldiers, the Red Sea was front of the Israel. They couldn't start across the sea. They couldn't return to Egypt. Para and his away were following them. They were going to kill God's people. Moses said, "Don't be afraid. God will save us." 
Moses say, God say to Moses, raise your your staff over the sea. The pillar of clouds stayed between the Israelites and parallel army. When Moses raised the staff, there what came the pass to the another side of the sea. The Israel followed the path and closed the sea Red Sea. Opara and Opara and Himarmi were following them when the Israel crossed the sea. Moses raised the staff. Moses raised the staff over the sea again. The sea weapon powers army away. God was with the Israelites. God people were free. They not survive anymore. Moses and the Israel sang and danced joyful. They praised God. Next chapter. Food from heaven. I am thirsty, say a little girl. I am too, say your father. We don't have any water. We are not the seller of Egypt, but we don't. Have water. The Israel were in the desert for many days. They were thirsty. They complained to Moses. The Israelites kept got to ongoing water, water. They shot with joy. The people ran to the water, but they got angry. They fought. Found the water of Mara, but the water was too bitter to eat. God said to Moses, "Throw the piece of wood into the water." Yes, Lord. Moses did what God said. Thus, what the water became sweet. People were amazed when God had drunk the water happily. I am hungry," said little boy. <coughs> we are hungry <coughs> too. There is nothing to eat," said the mother. The Israel began to complain. Moses again, "We, we starve to death." Moses prayed again to God. Again, Moses said, "Oh God, will give you food." God sent, God sent food like dew from heaven every morning. People call it food or manna. They didn't know what is this, but it was like cookie with honey. God feed the cross to Israel every day. Yes, today read the Bible. You are fun. Yes, I am enjoyed. Yes, see you next time. Bye. See you next time.